Hey, great. Super, super exciting. Hi, everyone. We are super excited because we're going to show you today how easy it is to build UTM campaign reports in just a few simple steps. Uh, no coding needed, no uh, complicated formulas. Everything's going to be super easy. This is what we are going to discuss. Explore reports in the new GA4. It is a super exciting feature. I'm very happy that GA4 are catering to the needs of marketers uh, like me and you uh, so that we can very quickly and easily build amazing reports with just a few clicks. And I am going to show you how you can use these seven super simple steps to gain amazing insights. Not only that, but you can duplicate whatever you set up with a single click and it's going to stay forever so that you can always refer back to it and have ready reports for your insights needs. So let's get started. When you get into your GA4 property, uh, you are going to be able to click on explore and here you're going to see all of your explorations. As you can see, I've built already a lot of reports and you can see that there are options preset for you from the template gallery. What we are going to do today is we are going to click on the plus report to set up a blank report. In the interest of time, I have already pre-built this report, but I'm going to show you how you can build it yourself. First things first, when you open your Explorer, you're going to be able to enter an exploration name. So uh, while we are waiting for our Explorer to open, oh, that was fast, we can enter here a uh, name which can be paid social report, let's say. Okay, then you can create here a timeline. So maybe it's the last seven days or last 28 days, etc. Then the next thing you need to do is you need to select your dimensions. And what I can do here is I will type session and I will be able to select session campaign session campaign tracking mediums or session default channel groups. I can add here my manual ad content, which is the UTM content. I can add my session medium term, which is my manual term. And I can add things like session source, session medium, etc. And I can um, also add a few other uh, sessions, uh, sorry, dimensions that I'm going to tell you about in a little while. So as you can see, all of my dimensions have been preset here and I am missing just two dimensions that are very important to me. The page refer, which I'm going to add shortly, as well as the page path uh, a, a page path and query string. Why am I going to choose those? Because they're going to tell me where the user was before they clicked on my paid social ads and where they landed. So I'm going to come here again and I'm going to click page and I am going to see my page path and query strength, I'm going to see my page refer, and I can also have landing page, page location. I have a lot of um, other um, options here, but I'm just gonna select these two for now. And here I am. Now it's time for my metrics. So the dimensions is showing to me which buckets I'm going to look at or how my data, my traffic is going to be sliced into and the metrics are going to show me what I will be measuring. So I'm going to be saying, hey, I want to see how many uh, new users I'm going to have. I want to also see total users. I'm also interested to find out um, information about my session, how long people uh, spent on my website after they came, what is the engagement rate, how many sessions, session conversion rates, uh, session per user. And you can actually select as many as you want. There are 164 predefined uh, metrics that you can use. 
Okay, let's refer back to our ready-made report here. As you can see, these are the sessions that I have selected. So next step is we have to actually build this report by dragging and dropping these components here in the rows or in the columns. Okay, so I'm going to select the, these three for my rows and I'm going to drag and drop them here. I'm going to say, hey, I want to see the session campaign here. Um, and, you know, it, the session default channel group is how Google Analytics buckets your traffic into organic source, into pay-per-click, into um, paid search, etc., right? But if your team has created a customized, um, you, you know, way that you are bucketing your traffic into your channels, aka mediums, you can also use that. For the purposes of today's demonstration, I'm going to use my own, but I can also show you how you can use the default channel group. So I'm going to add these here. Okay, and as you can see in the report that I already pre-built, I also have here session manual ad content because I just want to see here my content. After all, this is um, paid. This is paid advertisement that I'm doing, even though it's in social. So I want to see which of my ads and what ads are performing well. So now that I have these three here set up, as you can see, I have them set up. So the next, the next thing I need to do is I want to build here in the columns, the page referrer and the page query string so that I can see kind of a complete uh, picture of how users are engaging with our, our ads, right? So I'm going to come here. I'm going to have a, um, you can actually increase the number of your rows if you have a lot of data here to to um, accommodate your table. Um, you can say, hey, I want to have um, nested columns. And now it's time to drop the um, page refer to the columns as well as the page path plus query uh, refer here. Okay, once that you have added this, now it is time to drag and drop your metrics in the values. So I'm going to come here and I can drag and drop or it's very easy for me to kind of uh, select them from here because the fact that I added them on the left hand side immediately, I made sure that they're available here in this right click menu. So I'm just going to add new users. I'm going to add total users real quick. It's going to take a little bit of time for the platform to uh, respond because I have um, a lot of data. I'm going to do average session duration. I'm going to do, okay, it's taking time. I'm going to do engagement rate. I'm going to do um, sessions. Okay, and as you can see, um, there's a lot of data, a lot of stuff happening, right? Um, and um, I um, want to make sure that I only focus on my paid social media uh, results. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here to the filters and I'm going to say, hey, you know what? I want to go into my uh, channels and I am going to say, hey, I only want to uh, uh, have the paid social media um, channel. So that's why I'm going to say here contains. And it's very easy because Google Analytics already has predefined for me what I can click on so that I can see it. So here's my paid social. I'm going to click it and I'm going to hit apply. What it's going to do is it's going to remove everything else that showed into the table and it's only going to provide me with my paid social. And my report is ready. I mean, it literally took a couple of minutes to set this up. As you can see, there's absolutely no coding, no high level uh, 
you know, planning or using of special um, languages, everything is just click and add. And you can have very quickly a report that you can use right away. So here's the Here's the data that we are looking at. Page refer is where was the user when they clicked my campaign? So they were on this part of Quora. Where did they land? They landed on my homepage. This is my, my homepage here, campaigntrackly.com. What is the session campaign name? This is the session campaign name. It is 223 Quarter two, lead to subscriber conversion paid social. What is my UTM content? It is image ad. Okay, so as you can see here on this line, I have my channel, which is paid social, also known as a medium. I have my session campaign, or this is my UTM campaign. I also have my um, UTM content. I can add um, additional um, components here. I can add my uh, UTM term if I have it, um, etc. And it's gonna, I think I can add up to five right now. So let me try and um, add um, here my term. I'm not sure if I have um, actually pre-selected any term value for this particular campaign, but just we can give it a try and see what happens. Okay, so as you can see now, I have here four, four columns. And actually, yay, this is good. It tells me what my UTM term is. Apparently, I had two versions of the same ad. And now I can compare how each version performed in my report. So as you can see here, version one didn't have any conversions of people who came from this page, but version two apparently was liked by people. So what else can I see here? I can see that a person who came from this ad, they stayed approximately 11 seconds on my page. There was a conversion that was happening. It's a brand new user. Um, and um, then I can continue to scroll to the right and I can see the next page that the user came. So the user came from this part of Quora and um, apparently, again, the preferences for version two, it's clearly that version one didn't do you, um, you know, didn't engage really well with, with my target customers. But what is the, the beauty of this report, right? If you are um, advertising on Facebook paid, for example, right? Facebook has so many um, aspects where your ads could go. Like it could be um, their, um, you know, in stream um, ads, their messenger and so many other places, right? And the beauty is when you look, when you look at the page referral, you'll be able to see this exactly how I'm seeing it for Quora here right away. I can see where the users were when my ad showed and what happened there. Oh, you can see that for example, for the people who visited Transpoint Quora, you know, apparently version one was much more appealing. So that's giving me enough information so that they can go and inspect and see, hey, who are those users? What were they doing on this uh, Transpoint? Because this could be a very different segment with very different interests, etc. Okay, so what is more, I can also see a topic here. I can see that there, that my um, ad showed on Quora on this particular topic. Why do British people seem to work so incredibly hard, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So this is super exciting. I mean, I am uncovering so much um, interesting detail here. And I know now exactly what pages were the pages that my ads showed up on, um, even uh, the articles themselves, and I can see how users are engaging. So basically, this is great information that I am able to get from Google Analytics in just a few clicks. And you know, the most amazing part is, is that once you set this up, right? You can right click here. Oops. You can click it, not right click it, and you can duplicate it. And once you duplicate it, 
you know, you can actually use the same setup, but instead of paid social here, you can go and you can say, hey, you know what? I want to have, let's say, um, organic social, or I want to have um, another um, kind of um Let's say um, I want to have another a channel here, um, and my channel could be, um, it could be paid search, or it could be display, or it could be email. Let's try email, for example, right? And if you are tracking your email with uh, UTM tags, you're going to be able to exactly see the same information here. As you can see, I have my email channel. I can see my session campaign, which is my UTM campaign here, I can see my term text link, button link, um, and I can see how they are performing, um, etc. And I can very easily rename this to email. And as you can see, in a matter of minutes, just using clone, I can create sub reports for every single one of my channels and it takes minutes. And the most beautiful thing is, is that once you exit from here, you can go back to your explore. And once you go back to your explore, you are going to see that your report was created and was saved here. Not only that, when you go to your homepage, you are going to be seeing the latest report that you worked on. So for example, for me right now, it is the paid social report. So super easy, right? Um, it took really, really only a couple of minutes for us to build a report using these seven super simple steps. You just go to explore, um, click on brand new, enter name, date period. I recommend to uh, use uh, periods of time versus specific dates because you know what? What you can do is uh, basically you can share um, here your exploration report um, and uh, you can, uh, what, what happens is that you can actually um, get um, ability to kind of come back to it, um, um, etc. Uh, so using instead of a custom period of time using like the last seven days or last 20 days, make sure that no matter when you come to this report, it's always going to uh, have your latest information, right? So then we added dimensions, we added the metrics, we used the drag and drop function to select the ones that we need. Uh, then we added a filter to reduce the amount of data that was available to us. Uh, and then we were all done. When we were happy with the report that we got, we just cloned it and applied it to another channel. And that is how easy it is. Well, it is now 11.22. Two, I am so sorry that we kind of had a little bit of a rocky start with our um, audio, but hopefully you are able to um, see everything and hear me, okay? Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for your time. Have a wonderful weekend. Happy Friday, everyone. I hope this is useful. Bye and take care.